Thank you. We keep it moving. Robert Clark will now come to give us a selection. Oh, Paul, I'm sorry, Robert Clark. Snap it up for him. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, there we go. What I did was uh, took a couple of verses from from my favorite rap album, Soul Food and Still Standing, verses from my, one of my favorite artists, CeeLo Green. I grouped them together and put my own spin on them and tweaked them some more to get, <laughs> to get it right make it acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys don't know CeeLo is a very profound thinker and writer. And so what it chronicles is the mindset and the actions of inner city black males and then when they're in jail and then when they finally find righteousness. So the title of it is From Inner City Blues to a path to righteousness. Let go. <laughs> well, I woke up this morning with the same frustrations from situations like these. I got a call for some work from one of those temporary agencies. No high school diploma or any college degree. I can't enlist, but get this, they'll draft me if it's some war overseas. Oh, please. Of course I can slay some good weed. But I'm one of those uh, aspiring <laughs> rap MCs. But bills are due, so I'm doubtful and everyone disagrees because I'd rather struggle on my feet than to live on my knees. So I compromise. And now my uniform tight after working all night at Mickey D's. I got about nine, eight dollars and some change after the government get they fees. See, these minimum wages ain't enough to feed my babies. Purpose limitations on the black folks' opportunities. So I quit, because I was tired of being one of those overworked and underpaid employees. Stop caring at all and went on and did a few small burglaries. And it seems like my faith and my walk with God has turned into a distant memory. But I ain't get away with nothing because I know he always sees. But right now I'm just trying to see I can get this is a dope show. I just stuff in my pocket as many rocks as it can hold. You see, they gonna get high, so I'm gonna get my money even if it's freezing cold. Now, how many times in the hood y'all done heard that story so? Believe it or not, it's some very intelligent junkies. But the penalties that they drug, the penalties seem to eat away at their souls like a disease. You see, anybody can turn into someone who covets and envy. And unequal economics will quickly make you some haters and enemies. And in the hood, the crime rate never dropped, so the cops drive around in three. I wanted to stash the weed, but I knew they would have killed me if I did anything for free. <laughs> <laughs> and then they find the rest of the dope by some nearby shrubbery. And now they got me in this dim lit room being questioned by these authorities. And the judge gave me some time in correctional facilities. Now I'm left behind all of these miles of feed. And now another single black mother has got to take on a man's responsibility. Now I'm sitting in jail, singing jail songs. Lord, it's so hard. Living this life of constant struggle each and every day. Some wonder why I'd rather die than to continue living this way. Many are blind and cannot find the truth cause no one seems to really know. But I won't accept that this is how it's going to be. The devil got to let me and my people go. Because I, I want to be free, completely free. Lord, won't you please come and save me? You see, when I was out there on the street, I didn't even know how I was going to eat. I was about 20 $30 away from being on the street. I mean, you might have seen a brother on TV, but it was almost like I was rapping for free. Man, that little money be gone. Man, I heard it. I'm grown. I got to help to keep the heat and the lights on. Would have been nice to have more, 
but at least I knew what my friends was there for. I want to lie to you sometimes, but I can't. I want to be like him and tell you that it's all good, but it ain't. Because his brother's hurting and uncertain about if they're going to make it or not. That's why you got them killing, feeling like they're coming up off a little dope they so We get some gold, but we won't make it as a whole. Because without you, there'll be no me. And without no unity, there will never be any happiness. You can smoke cigarettes and a pound of sex, and it still won't relieve your stress. God bless. Because you see, I'm so happy we made it. I knew one day we would. All these years of struggling were never understood. Now my eyes are open, and I can clearly see we didn't die for nothing, because we are finally free. I'm so happy. You see, I know of a place not too far away that maybe you and I can both go someday. But I got to get right because I ain't trying to stay here. Don't y'all realize that the end is so near? But don't you have fear because you still got time. I hope you want to come when I'm done with the rhyme. You see, let me explain so you won't claim you didn't know it. And you can make sure that this is where you want to go. It's all about preparing yourself for the return. And a trip to your soul is the only way that you will learn. And if you choose not to listen as a Christian follower, I have to make that my concern. Because if you continue your devilish ways, in hell your soul will have to burn. You see, the devil would tell lies to try to trick your soul to receive it. They tell you that my Lord ain't coming back and you'll believe it. Regardless if you listen to me, in the end, we'll see. Thank you, Rob. Man, that was powerful. That was powerful. We're going to keep it moving.